Guys, what's good? It's your boy, Phil. Today, we are talking about One Punch Man 157, the latest chapter in the series. A um, couple of days, couple of days since it dropped, and I had, uh, I had time to recoup my ideas and think about what the hell is going on. There's a couple of things, a couple of things I want to talk about in this chapter uh, regarding Evil Natural Water, regarding Sage Centipede, my boy Garo, Metal Bat, Scythema, really the five characters that are in the limelight right now. So we're going to talk about them for sure. Possibly what's going to happen in the future, what could go down, where we left off, all of that good stuff we usually do. Um, I don't know if, if there's been another chapter confirmed yet. I think we're back on like the two week rotation that we're usually on. So look forward to another chapter when it drops. Um, I'll probably have like a preview and prediction video out by the time that drops, but this chapter was sick. I enjoyed this chapter. I thought it was cool. Really, it was kind of a breather because we have had a lot of hype shit going down in One Punch Man lately. Um, but this chapter was sick. This chapter was cool. It was really nice. But without further ado, let's do this shit. So there's a bit of dialogue that comes from my boy Sage Tenopi that has me a little bit confused, right? So obviously my boy Saitama unleashes the serious punch like we all thought right we thought he was gonna have to intervene with evil natural water because this thing is huge who else could take down evil natural water if it wasn't my boy Scythema? blast well no blast isn't here anymore uh so i i we all had that feeling he was probably gonna have to intervene and he did unleash the serious punch on like the eyeball of it which is nice that's like the only solid thing about evil natural water um, and that's cool. That's really cool. Now, the part I'm confused about is, is if it's dead. If Evil Natural Water is dead. Because we get this dialogue from Sage Centipede. This dude says, it's dead? Huh? Referencing Evil Natural Water, I'm assuming, right? So, I don't understand if Evil Natural Water is dead or if it's not. I'm probably going to say it's not. Because I don't think, well, I mean, it is a serious punch, right? So it would make sense if it just got one punch like that, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's dead or not. Sage Centipede seems to think it's dead, right? But is it really? Is it really, though? It's water. Can't it just manifest itself again? So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Saitama was over there surfing it and shit on the fucking ship. Um, he was running on water and shit like that, so he was back to his, uh, his Scythema ways, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, but that's an interesting point that I wanted to bring up first and foremost, uh, is the state of Evil Natural Water, and if we're gonna see it come back, like, next chapter or something. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see. He parted the sea, which was absolutely insane. Uh, it's, it's weird, it's weird. I don't know if it's dead or not. Sage Centipede seems to think so, uh, think think it is though so we'll see we'll see what happens and then obviously we have to talk about the dynamic duo my fucking boys metal bat garo teaming up posing and shit with each other very nice it was cool to see i like this i think it's cool them two versus sage centipede i don't know how much longer it's gonna last i hope it lasts a bit more longer i hope it's them two that end up getting the dub on sage centipede um i don't know if that's gonna happen because I think a lot of people forget about Elder Centipede and how strong Elder Centipede was supposed to be. And he just gets one punched by my boy Scythema, right? He kind of gets... It's it's one of those bailouts that we see in the series thus far. Or that we see in the series pretty frequently. So, I don't know if it's, if it's going to happen again. Because presumably, just based off, like, their appearance and their names and hierarchy and shit... Sage Centipede and size, Sage Centipede is, is probably stronger, is definitely stronger uh, than Elder Centipede. So I don't know. I don't know if Garo and Metal Bat are going to be enough to take down Sage Centipede because um, that would be weird. It'd be a little weird. I'm thinking about it in hindsight now. Uh, so this is pro this might be another Scythema kill. This might be another serious punch to the dome. We'll have to see. I don't know, man. I'm tossed up about this. I'm, I'm, it's like a 50-50. Like, I do want to see Garo and Metal Bat do something, right? I've been calling for the boy Metal Bat to do something because he's one of the freshest heroes out here at the moment. Uh, and he finally gets his fight, but it's against Sage Centipede, and this is a fucking strong-ass dude. And I don't think he's just going to get tossed to the side very easily. So we'll see. I'd be, I'd be very happy if it was a major fight. I don't think it's going to be like a major encounter between Metal Bat, Garo, and Sage Centipede. 
Um, just based off like what happened last chapter, like you got Sage Centipede, he's going after the helicopter and shit. Now he's going after Scythema. He's moving around. He's kind of like ignoring Garo and Metal Bat when you think about it, right? So it's weird. It's very weird. We're going to see. We're going to see what happens. I think knowing Garo and his character and everything, he's not just going to like let Sage Centipede go to the side, right? He's going to want to chase after him. He's going to want to fight him. He's going to want to take the dub. Uh, and I don't know if he'd mind if Metal Bat, you know, would, would accompany him in chasing that dub. So I hope the duo sticks around, but I don't think, I don't know, I should say, if they can take down Sage Centipede together. I wanted to, I wanted to take the dub because that'd be really cool, but I don't know if they can. I don't know if they can. And I've seen a lot of people talk about maybe Sage Centipede is going to be the next factor that pushes my boy Garo's monsterization evolution even further and that i could agree with that is something i could really see happen is his ass get beat by sage centipede uh metal bat get his ass beat by sage centipede have to unlock like his fucking ability and shit his power buffs and all that do some more of that whack his ass with the bat even more and then probably still go down swinging but that's the metal bat way am i right um, that's something I could see. That's something I could see happen for sure. Uh, and if he does unlock that next, you know, level of monsterization, my boy Garo, that would be some crazy shit that happens in the series, because that would lead into some more interesting, interesting, saucy stuff. Uh, and then, ultimately, I think Scythema would just one-punch Sage Centipede. That's something I could see going down. That's a scenario that I could for sure see. Um... Another problem, though, that's happening in One Punch Man, and, you know, something that's been happening for a while, eh, not really a while, but something that, with recent chapters, has become more relevant, is we're kind of running out of monsters. We're kind of running out of villains. Everybody's fucking dying at this point, right? If you're ugly, we think he's dead, right? We think that dude is dead. I don't think he's dead, but the general public thinks he's dead. I think he's gonna come back. Trust me on that one, bro. Um, but yeah, he's like a sludge. That's the last time we saw him. Um... Platinum, Sperm, he's dead. He got fucking exploded from the boy Garo. So that's, that was another one that just came out of nowhere. I was like, damn, he's just going to die like that? Okay, whatever. That's another one done. We're running out of cadres. Homeless Emperor got Thanos snapped. Uh, and, and now, I, presumably, Evil Natural Water might be dead, according to this chapter. So we're running out of monsters and there's like only a couple of options to go moving forward because we're not done yet with the monster uh association arc at least it doesn't feel like that right so uh psychos has to come back at some point right orochi if he's not connected to sage centipede at all then orochi is still out there right he's still buried under the rubble even though that's where sage centipede came from so there's a little bit of confusion there uh, some people think Orochi might not come back. Some people, like me, think Orochi might come back. But we'll see. Maybe he won't be major. Who knows? I would love to see Orochi's old form that got canceled out, I guess, from the redraws. I would love to see that form come back and maybe fight someone like a Metal Bat or like a Gara. Who knows? Uh, those are two that are due. Obviously, God is due at some point in this arc, right? We know he's going to come back. He's going to intervene at some point. And they could always, like, throw another new monster at us, right? Similar to how they did with Sage Centipede. I could see that happen, right? Uh, but that's kind of all the options we have. So we are coming near the end, maybe in, like, a year or some time. Who knows? Um, but these are just thoughts. These are just thoughts I want you all to think about. That's kind of where we're at in One Punch Man. I like the Suryu uh, callback at the end of the chapter. I don't know if he's gonna come into the arc, right? Similar to how... Metal Bat hopped out of the hospital and chased his ass down to the scene of the crime. I don't know if Suryu is going to do that, simply because I don't think Suryu is at that level yet. And plus, he's really banged up. That dude had more injuries, for sure, more severe injuries than uh, than Metal Bat. Like, I, I think his legs fucking broke and shit, right? So, yeah. I don't think Suryu is going to be coming through. It's nice to see him on the TV, you know, commentating everything, but uh, unfortunately, my dude needs to heal up. Or maybe he will come through. I don't know. It's only been... <laughs> and I, I talk about this like all the time in all these videos lately it's only been like three days or some shit bro since since season two of the anime it's only been like three days some shit like that it's it's it, yeah he's not gonna nah no chance no chance he comes through his fucking legs are broken bro what do you want from him guys that's the video 
That's the One Punch Man 157 uh, review, recap, all good stuff from the chapter. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Little nice little Easter eggs in there. Uh, let me know down below. What do you think about this chapter? What are your ideas, thoughts, theories, everything you have uh, regarding this chapter? Where do you think we're going? All that stuff. Do let me know in the comments. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Shh. <laughs>